Hey guys, I got a stack of glow manas and I've got my pocket radar. We're gonna go to a field and we're gonna see how speed affects the flight of a disc. Let's go. All right, so I've got this nifty little pocket radar. If you guys are interested in one of these, I've got a discount code listed below that'll get you guys 10% off. But this is a neat little thing where you can connect it to your phone and record videos and it'll show you how fast you're throwing. Well, I've got one of my favorite discs over here, the Glow Mana, and I'm gonna throw it at different speeds, and I'm gonna see how speed affects the flight of the Glow Mana. All right, so first off, it was really hard to throw this disc in the 20s. I had to, I had to end up going to like a jump putt stance to throw it in the 20s, and still, even then, it was the upper 20s. I really had to slow down my throw to get something in the 30s. It's really hard to throw in the 30s for sure, but I did my best. So when you're throwing in the 30s, it's basically gonna be a hyzer, unless you put it on a big extreme Anheuser angle. But you can see most of the discs kind of fly the same when they're in the 30s. Now, once I was in the low 40s, this felt more like a comfortable power down upshot that I'm kind of used to. So this felt a little bit more comfortable. The disc flew pretty straight, still had some fade at the end. 47, upper 40s. Now this felt more like a normal mid-range shot if I'm not going all out. All right, last but not least, once I got to the 50s, this felt good. It almost felt to the point where I was throwing too hard. I don't really like to throw my mid-ranges this hard. This is something I reserve for the drivers, but you can see as I'm getting up to the upper 50 range that the disc started really turning over at that point. Okay, so one of the biggest things I noticed going from throwing about 40 miles an hour to the 50s, upper 50s a mile an hour, main difference is the distance. It goes further for sure, and the disc gets more flippy. So when I was throwing it in the upper 40s, I was getting about 280 feet distance. And then once I got up in the 55, 57 mile an hour range, I got about 330 feet with this. And you can notice in the video that it got a lot flippier too. Thanks for tuning in guys. If you wanna get one of these little pocket radars, they're a sweet little deal. You can check on the link below and use my code to get 10% off. I hope this helped you in determining what speed does to the flight of the disc. I might do some more of these with some other discs coming up. If you guys like this, let me know in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe. Until next time, peace out.